can't remember how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Fight Game, where everybody's got a fighting chance. I'm your host, Joe Miggs, with my co-host, Catalina Hager. What's up, Cat? Okay. I'm ready to win again, Joe. All right? All right Tonight we have a special show, though, because this is our first episode with a lady. I mean, uh oh, just, women empowerment oh, movement right? in the house. Who we got coming on? What's going on, Kat? Oh, well, I happen to have the flyweight champ of BK, Christine Barrio. So good luck. All right. Well, listen, I got my man. This man has so much experience. It's crazy. His record's crazy. He trains at the at the same gym, Tiger Showman that I used to train at, Bellator, UFC, and now bare knuckle. Jimmy Rivera is on my team. It's going okay, that's down. pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm excited about this. Let's bring him in. I'm Let's excited. I'm amped. There they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, up, yeah, guys? yeah. Yes. Girl Scott. power. <laughs> <laughs> Christine. Going down. Yes. You got down. you got a big fight coming up. Yes. Idle defense. February 17th. I'm, I'm excited like, oh. about this. Part. I look a little tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good fight. Um, I think my opponent's tough, so we're gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't be. wait. This another title. I said they they throw, they got to start throwing men at Christine Faria at this point. I mean, right? I because... think they are. I think they really are. This time. <laughs> I saw yeah. something. I saw something on social media. I saw a little something that she got tested I, like I'm three times the it. testosterone. Yeah, three for... times the testosterone level. I was like, damn. I'm like, okay, people are like, oh, you should fight guys now. I'm like, are you stupid? Like, no. <laughs> like, I spar guys. I spar guys. Yeah, they get me tougher, but they hold their power on me. I'm not stupid. Like, yeah, right. I don't yeah. Under... <laughs> well, that's not smart. <laughs> exactly. Fight smarter, not harder. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jimmy, I know sure. you got a little little something coming up. I know you can't say anything, but I saw that your post today. Uh, you got uh, some fight news coming up. Excited to see you back, and that's going to be in the BKFC ring? Yes, it will be. So I'm excited to be right. back. I know it was a little time off, but with injuries and, you know, having my second kid, needed a little oh, time. Congrats. So. Congratulations, Thank you. Congratulations, man. What did you have? A girl. Congrats, dude. You have a girl. Is uh, that your first uh, girl? I have nice. No, I have two girls too. I have uh, Penelope and Rosalia. Ooh. Two oh, I love those names, cute. man. Cute. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I love them. I know too. those cute. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wow, you guys are busy over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so have number three after your next fight. Oh God. No, I mean I, I, I want to, but I want to go for the boy, but I just know my <laughs> life is a girl, so I'm good with two girls. I don't want to go yeah. to the boy. Yes, I feel you. I have two kids <laughs> Smart too. Smart man. It? <laughs> oh yeah, both boys, girls, or boys? No, I have a boy and a girl. D but they're That's older. Mine are eleven and seven, so uh, do you miss them being little? I do it in some aspects, but not like where you are right now. That's like the trenches, you know, where you're just like, oh, I was not sleeping no, at all. so <laughs> cute. I'm not ready for like when she's seven going on 17 with attitude. I'm good That's right now the way she is. Yeah. I just want her to speak a little bit. She doesn't speak that much right now. Just yeah. a little bit. And that's it. That's all I want. I feel like when they're like five, it's like so fun. Five to seven. And then, you know, it goes like in waves, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. As long that. as they're not like me when I was five years old, I was cursing out adults at that age. I could see that. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> you look exactly the same, too. He looks like the same person, just smaller. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. You saw the picture, right? I know. I know. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It's the craziest <laughs> thing. Just grew a beard. That was it. I know. It's hilarious. You're like, yeah, forget about it. I don't know. Forget about it. <laughs> All right, let's get going here, guys. Uh-oh, right. this is the sparring round. <laughs> MMA, Merc Mary S. Catalina, oh, tell them about it. Okay, so this is like a uh, Mary F. Kill. Same concept, right? Except combat themed. So Mary Merc asked. Three people are going to pop up on the screen. We're going to go one person at a time. And this is just a fun round. It counts for no points. And you're just going to tell us who you would marry Merc ass. Mary F. Kill. What, what is ass? Kind of like bang. Oh, oh, okay. my bad. So, um, 
Perfect. Catalina, give so, Jimmy the, dis the disclaimer oh. about this. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. So, you know, sometimes we have people on that are like, oh, I don't really want to say or whatever. So, you know, don't worry. Your wife's not watching. So. <laughs> not <yet. laughs> you never did this podcast, okay? All right. This never happened. <laughs> All right, we're well, gonna we'll start. I guess ladies first. Catalina, you yes. take it away for Christine. All right, Christine. Okay, here we go. We got WWE's Bella Twins. We have Bella Tours, Leah McCourt, or PFL's Kayla Harrison. Mary Merck asked. Also, I, I have to pick each one. Yes. Wait. So the Bella okay. Twins count as one. So person. the twins are one. Yeah, they're one. You get a two for one with them. Okay, you get a two for. Mary Burk and Mary then I'll Merk the one in the black. Oh, and Leah. The uh -huh. ass is for the yeah, the fearless girl. Yeah, the twins. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, those are twins. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. twins. Oh, my bad. Okay, those two are twins. Then I married the twins, and then the the PFL girl. Yeah. I'll murk her. Uh, I can't have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Listen, I would totally marry the Bella Twins because now uh, you can have sex with them whenever you want. And there's two of them. <laughs> there's two. There's two. You get, you get entertained with one, you can have the other. So, I mean, it works out. It does. It does. I agree with everything that was just said. So listen, I would jump off the top rope <laughs> on both of them. So it's all good. <laughs> so for, for Jimmy, I, I I switched it up for you, bro. I I went a little different. So for for this all one, right. I went love interests of fighters in movies. That's the route I went. So here we go. So we got Tessa Thompson on the left. That's uh, Creed's <laughs> Creed's chick. Then of course we got Adrian. And then I got Amy Adams, who was uh, Buff Wahlberg's chick in The Fighter. All right. So it's going to be, uh, sorry, Adrian, Merck, uh, Merck Adrian. Uh, <laughs> is Tess Adams, you said? Yeah. Tessa, Tessa uh, Thompson. Ass, all right. Ass is Tess Adams. And then uh, the other girl, Mary. There you go. Oh, I'm go. with it. Done. Yeah, I agree. I'm um, with it. <laughs> that was easy. That was good. I was really hoping way. I was going to get missed. Yeah, it, exactly. I, was that. Like, All right, I know exactly. I like went the same route, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you never know who you're going to pull up on this show, honestly. It's just a little warm know. up. I, I feel like you could have did better, Joe. I'm a little upset. <laughs> All right, you know, you, next time you <laughs> gave her better picks. That was sexist. <laughs> <laughs> and you gave her twins or whatever they are. So Actually, yeah, I did it. I, I picked know. first. <laughs> so hey, I want that's cats. That's awesome. <laughs> that <better place. laughs> Listen, it was either that or I was thinking of like dead president's wives, you know? That's so random. <laughs> what? I mean, that, that uh, you know, that Mrs. Bush, she was something else back in the day. How many gummies did you have before this? <laughs> None. I can't believe it. I haven't had anything yet. <laughs> Damn it. By the way, guys, this episode is Speaking sponsored and brought to you by and powered by Fusion CBD. For all your Fusion CBD needs, check out Fusion CBD at Fusion C CBD products on social media. Love those guys. Love it. All right, we ready? Bullshit. Ready for rounds one and two? Call your bluff. All right, so guys, oh man, I'm this scared. Is like truth or lie? We call it call your bluff. So there's going to be one lie and one truth, and the other person is going to have to guess which one is false and one which one is correct. Got it? Got it. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Okay. This is not time this round. We're going to give you the time to figure it out. So we'll start with Christine. Okay, ready? Here we go. Christine, Jimmy graduated from New Jersey Police Academy, or B, Jimmy has a history of arrest due to assault. He has both demeanors. <laughs> so let me see. Jimmy graduated from, I think he graduated from the New Jersey Police Academy. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. 
that is correct. Yes, yeah, I can tell. I can feel that energy. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it. That especially, I have no fucking gear right now. <laughs> no I was like, wait, you got top energy. <laughs> top Jimmy, energy. congratulations, by the yes. way. I was like, wow, that is so cool. My man graduated the police academy. Dope. How do you feel, Thanks, man? Steph. Yeah, that's dope. good. I can't, I can't fight forever, so I have to have uh, something to kind of fall back onto. So yeah. it worked. It worked out. I tell you that. I yeah. just besides, like, besides what besides the yeah. you know with Tyra Showman's myself. Uh, one of the co-founders, Ron Showman and Chief Felino, who's my boss. Um, we started a defensive tactics program for police officers here in New Jersey, which are, you know, they're under use of force guidelines, like way under. They don't go above it at all. So we've been doing that, trying to help police officers out. Being in the academy, I learned a lot. I learned how to teach stuff. And it was a very interesting experience. I could tell you probably the one thing that I hated the most was you got right then towards the academy, you get OC spray, pepper sprayed, and then you have to do a whole bunch of stuff. So I you radio, so I got sprayed, I radioed in, and, uh, you know, there's Officer Rivera, my address, uh, I just got OC spray, I need backup. After I put the mic, the, my, uh, the mic down, it was burning. I had to strike a pad, then kick it, then I had one of those rubber batons, and I'm hitting the guy, the red man, to get down, get down, get down, and break. So like, all right, transition to your gun, we have a blue gun. And I go and take it out, and at that point, my eyes were burning so much. He went for it. And I was like, fuck this. Holster, double leg, side mount, get him ah, down. Like, get nice. on your stomach, turn around, and that was it. Then you have to identify knife or gun, like knife, cuff a dummy, and you run outside. I can tell you, I, I didn't cry, but I'm like, listen, it's burning. Just tell me what to do. I don't remember. I'm so focused on the course. Just whatever, like, <laughs> baby soap in my eyes. Let me tell you, it's probably, I, I couldn't open my eyes for four to five minutes. So wow. it definitely yeah, oh, man. definitely oh, something you don't yeah, want to experience. <laughs> you know, you know, Jim. God bless you, you for going it. through that. You definitely that. earned it. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta I say, it. I feel bad for the guy that underestimates you, and he's gonna find <laughs> out the hard <laughs> way who Jimmy Rivera. Well, I'm just saying, I don't know if that's gonna get dumped on his head. <laughs> nose, yeah. messed up ears. I don't think it's gonna happen. True. There's been plenty of times <laughs> that when I was a young adult, you know, someone wanted to start something like, all right, pay your tab, we'll go outside. I'm like, nah, man, it's cool. I'm sorry, yo. I'll, do, I'll buy you a couple of drinks after that. I'm like, nah, you just want to pay your tab. We'll go outside. And then <laughs> they changed the meter. They changed the meter. So it's all good. Exactly. I love it, man. All right, Jimmy. So either A, Christine enjoys doing <laughs> yoga, or B, Christine is very good at knitting. I feel like I don't know about the yoga. I feel like it's B. It's going to be absurd. B. Am I wrong? I it, wrong. It, it is actually A. It is hey. actually A. Uh, I know I'm your I like that too. I go, uh, oh, my bad. I love yoga. <laughs> I was going way, way above. I'm like, maybe it's just something you don't know. Fuck it. Let me go with it. <laughs> I know. I know. That's why I was like, oh, that'd be awesome. Right? Yeah. No, I'm a yogi. I do that like at least four times a week. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's nice. awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Yoga's great. All right. Here yeah, we I go. We got more. Christine. A, Jimmy made his UFC debut in 2015, or B, Jimmy made his Bellator debut in 2017. It's a tricky one. Yeah. Wait, okay, UFC. Uh, I'm gonna go with it. A. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are okay. You, are you sure that's right? I, I mean, know. I think it's 2016. So no. neither because you messed up on the year. Oh, so I'm wrong. So Christine is okay. It's not even your fault. They screwed you over on that one. Are you sure it's 2015? It. Well, I went on Wikipedia and pulled your name up there, and they said that you had two fights in 2015. Are you, who, are you sure? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Hold on. Is. I'm going to tell you who it was. Because we used the Google machine. I know who it was. Marcus, Marcus Brimish was the first one. Marcus, and Pedro yeah, Munoz was the second one. But you sure it was 15 and not 16? <laughs> It says, okay, I just pulled it up now, so I'm going to read it to you. But it's saying, <laughs> it's saying UFC uh, Rivera. You might, you might be right. It might be 15. July 18, 2015. All right, all right. Then it is. Then it is. But that you is did awesome. in, in 2016, uh, I think you faced uh, uh, Yuri Alcantara on, it was on Yuri, January 30th. And then I think it was Faber after that. Right? 
Yeah, you fought Faber in September that year. And you yeah, and you and won then, by uh, unanimous decision. Nice. And then it was supposed to be Cruz, but then Cruz broke his arm. I'm telling you, Leonard, like, like you don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I get hit in the head for a living. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you, got, you know, this week I vouch for it. Like, I don't remember dates. Exactly. I don't know about yes, you, but my yes, dates yes, are yes. All, all the time. So, yeah. All right. All right. Sure. You got it right. I'm sucking at this game. Oh, no. We got more game to play. Trust me. We've seen some comebacks. We had, uh, what was that point with Shannon Briggs and Dr. Bo? They were crazy. Oh, yeah. That Those was guys intense. were just like back and forth. It was nuts. Yes. All right, Jimmy. Here we go. So, and, and, and I hope A is not maybe, I don't know, or B, I don't even know. But Christine was featured in a hip-hop music video or Christine is a country music fan. The fuck? Why are you giving me the hard ones? I, know, I, I, mean, one. I feel like, <laughs> you, fuck that. that, that I'm country, not easy to read. I feel like it's A. I feel like Christine was featured in a <laughs> hip-hop music video. No, what Christine, bro! <laughs> All right, hey, Christine, who's your favorite country singer? Really? I, I said like, but I'm old school. I'm old that. school. I, I like I, man or woman. I, I mean, I, I love T. McGraw. I, I love Dark like you your last fight to, to hip hop. I thought. Yeah, no, I love, I love hip hop. I'm, but I'm, but I have some country in me too. All right, so <laughs> wait, yeah, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite country singer? I like old school. I like Tim McGraw, Garth Brooks. I like all old school. So hey, nothing Katie new. Katie Oslin. I don't know if you even know who that is. That's old, old. No, no. I know some Dolly Parton, but. <laughs> oh, um, Dolly, yeah. Dolly, all right. Too. So you don't like, you don't like anything new school. I do, but I don't. I like more old because I grew up with it. It was from my mom and all stuff. Right. So. But, that's my wife, my wife is the same way. We're actually going on vacation to one of my buddies is uh, is Brandon Gilbert, so we're heading over to actually Florida. Uh, I can't say when, but soon. And uh, I can't wait to get a vacation. It's been a long time in making. <laughs> Absolutely, so, have fun, man. Cool. I like. I, 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 I do like, like my chicken fried. <laughs> you what? Oh, I like my fried. chicken so, fried. <laughs> <laughs> well, people ask me like country music. I'm like, I like my chicken fried. <laughs> so Joe, you like no country music at all? Well, wait, hold on. This I just want to pull the scorecard up. Where it's two nothing, Christine, right now. I'm the champ. I know, <laughs> but I know okay. my man. She's the champ. She deserves it. Listen, I know my man Jimmy. He's, he's the comeback kid, so it's all good. Now, We're now, just now, you just, now you just jinx me, and I'm not going to come back. <laughs> bro i will tell you i do i actually country music has grown on me I, i'm starting to like it more and more as i hear it you know what it is i feel don't get me wrong i grew up listening to hip-hop and i like hip-hop but i I, st I i got stuck at a certain era of hip-hop where you know it's all the old school guys like biggie and Pac and jay-z and eminem and i kind of stayed there we're all like that because <laughs> the new era of hip-hop and, and rap sucks it does. So I can. Yeah. There's only one or two songs here, now and then that come out. You're like, yo, I can beat to this. I can. I can. Because I was saying the hip hop. Now, I mean, I listen to everything, but same thing. It's, country music slowly grows on you, and you're like, oh, yeah, I like it. It, it does. does. It does. Yeah. It's feel good music. You know, I got all that craziness out of my system. You, you know, a few years <laughs> back. So now I just want to kind of kick it a little bit. Listen to something good. So the country music. <laughs> That hell, and then trust me, them girls and those Daisy Dukes and Boots at those country music concerts. I mean, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I just tell them I'm a concrete cowboy, baby. <laughs> say, say, hey, say listen, where is it? You, what? You ever watch said, Yellowstone? I, all right, hold on a second, brother. Hold, no, hold on. on. A have second. you watched? It's a yes or no question. It's not a. Have you ever watched Yellowstone? No, I'm on 1883 right now. I'm doing it from oh, there. Oh, okay. You can't really, I mean, you don't have to do it from there. Yeah, you don't. Because it, it, oh. it intertwines. Like, it kind of intertwines, and it doesn't matter that you didn't see Yellowstone the original. Yeah. So, uh, what's why can't I remember? Is it Kip? No, not Kip. Um, yeah. What's his name? I know. The wife, right? You're talking about? No, the husband. The husband. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, why can't I do it? He was in Too Fast, Too Furious. Yes. That guy. I'm trying to think. What's his name again? Oh my God! Can you Google it right now? You have a computer in front of you. Is it's he? Is me. he? Uh, is he? Uh, he's in Yellowstone. Yeah, he's in Yellowstone. Yeah. 
I'm trying to. There's a meme out with it. Okay. I'm just try, I, it's, it was Kevin Rip. Costner. No, it's Rip. I want to say Kip. it's Rip. So Rip from Yellowstone. He's okay. in a movie where he's like baby shaved, like Too Fast Too Furious, for example. He's baby shaved. He, you know, I want to say he was skinnier in that time. No offense to him, but skinnier mm-hmm. at that time. And super baby mm-hmm. face, you like this young kid. And there's a meme of him that says, as long as you add a jacket, cowboy boots, and a hat and a beard, anybody could be a cowboy. And it goes a picture of him when he was in like Too Fast Too Furious and a picture of him when he's in Yellowstone. And you go, boom, that's it. That's all you need to do to be a cowboy. It's perfect. <laughs> so if you're a yellow Cole boy, Hauser. You understand. Yes, that's who it is. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Well, I, my dad is a huge country guy. You know, he loves all that country stuff. And actually, I grew up horseback riding since I'm a little kid. We used to go up to Catskills. And I used to ride horses up there all the time. So I've been riding wow. for a long time. And uh, so I, I like all the country stuff. And uh, my dad was like, ah, he, he recommended me watching 1883 first. That's why I'm, I'm all about it. But I will tell you, I will unsingle myself right now. For Elsa Dutton. <laughs> I don't know who that is. She's hot. She's young. She's like in her early 20s, but she's beautiful. Yeah, she's good. I, I don't know if she's in uh, 1923 or whatever it is. I, I didn't get to watch it yet. I actually have been meaning to watch it. But you got to watch Yellowstone. Rip's wife. What's I don't know her name. I can't even think of her name right now. I always for blanket out names. She is such a badass in the series. And she's just crazy. It's it's awesome. Oh, you got to watch it. You got to start uh, watching. You don't have to wait. Just start watching Yellowstone. Yeah. You'll be oh, my God. The shit they're doing it. It's so good. Bro, you by got them. me amped. You got me amped up now. Yeah. Shit. If you watch alone, you watch alone for Rip. And uh, fuck, what's, what's her name in the movie? What's the female's name with the blonde hair or kind of reddish blondish hair? What's yeah, it, what do you got here? I don't know what her name is. Uh, Kelly Riley, <laughs> Beth Dutton? Beth. Yes, Beth. Beth. You have to watch it. If you don't watch it, you watch it just because of her. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, she is great on the show. <laughs> yeah. Count me in. Oh, and it's uh, the other saying I have is uh, save an Italian. No, save a stallion, ride an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. Oh, they drew first He's got all the good me. ones, guys. Listen. All right, here we go. Round three and four. <laughs> instinct all right so these are going to be war combat questions all right so i hope you paid attention in school so we're going to be asking war combat questions Uh, you really think we pay attention i am a misfit you know (laughs) yeah you think we really pay attention (laughs) in school well he he might he might show me up he's gonna beat me here let's find out all right christine who is the american revolutionary war fought against a great britain b france c Spain. You're gonna make me look so dumb right now. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, and and oh, you're on no. the clock. You're on the clock. On the Eight clock. seconds to answer. Don't forget to unmute. Oh, there we go. Um, it is part of in Great Britain. That's right. <laughs> I think okay. it could be like three yeah. seconds because you can look that up real quick. You no, did. I didn't. I swear to God, I did it. I swear <laughs> I did it. It's okay. If you did, it's okay. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. So I'm glad <laughs> you found it. You know, they used to tell me that. Right. They used to tell me that. That was my motto in high it's school. It's true. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I would, I would write the answers that I knew on the desk with a pencil, oh, take yeah, the test, that. and then erase all the answers off the desk. <laughs> I used to do that too. Whatever. Smart. God, I passed. I passed. <laughs> and now look what you do. It's creativity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy. The last execution in the Tower of London took place during what war? A. War of the Roses. B. World War One. Or C. World War Two. And you are on. Why do I get the hard ones? Don't forget to unmute your mic. I don't think he got the sound. Oh, your your mic got no, turned I off. No, I got it. Oh, completely? Or I'm supposed? Am I supposed to answer 
before the seconds are up? Yeah, yeah. I'll, we'll when give you this one. We'll yeah. give you this before the seconds are up. Yeah. So we'll oh, okay. Well, I don't even know it anyway, so I'm going to go with B. I'm guessing. You know what? I don't even know. Joe! <laughs> I don't know. I never learned. I never learned about this. The Tower. Of Hold London. on. What was that quote? The last execution in the Tower of London. Wow. What a mess I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Joe's Wait, you fired. really don't know the answer? I forgot. I forgot. You thought of this question? <laughs> or he, he wrote that one. I wrote all the Christine questions I wrote. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are giving yeah, me too much. Oh my down. god. I don't know anything like that. Joe's fired. Hold on, I'm trying to type. It was the Second World War. Oh, shit. oh there we go. All right, boss. So, I lost. She got it. I got. I guess B. Oh, I never wow. even learned that. World My bad. <laughs> never I've learned that. I've done that before too, where I forget <laughs> to write the answer down. <laughs> Listen, I, you know, no, we do I a do. trivia show, but it doesn't mean we know <laughs> shit. Exactly. We never claim that we know any of these answers. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Because you should know the answer in order to write the question. <laughs> Listen, I told you. What did I just tell you, Jimmy? I cheated. I would have answer. I, I, <laughs> I was about to cheat too. I was about to look it up because I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, ah, whatever. <laughs> oh, what happens? All right, here we go. Christine, which of the following wars claimed the most lives of U.S. soldiers? Soldiers. There we go. A. World War One. B. A. The Civil War. Or C. Revolutionary War. I'm just, I'm going to go with B. That's correct. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'm defeated. Four and O. Oh, oh Four my and oh, God. I'm what defeated. a run. Maybe I can get one. Maybe I can get one. Let's see how, how, All right, how come much. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go, Jimmy. No, I know. Let's Jimmy's go, got Jimmy. this. Jimmy, come on, Jimmy. Let's do this shit. I'm Joe, you long. know the next so game. <laughs> Jimmy, what conflict is sometimes called the African World War? Was it A, Second Congo War, B, First Congo War, or C, the African Battle? I've never even heard of this. No, I'm just going to go with B. I don't even care if I get it right or wrong. B, there you go. Don't even give the seconds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> B, God, that, is, that is That is <laughs> incorrect. It's actually uh. the Second Congo War. Oh, that, I don't know any of this stuff. I'm not I know, I've never heard of that school. either. <laughs> you definitely Google the most random. <laughs> you you went to like whole other countries, <laughs> bro. Listen, listen. I would have got these wrong too. No doubt about so wait, it. I, Joe, do you always attend the bare knuckle fights? <laughs> oh God, stop it! Stop it right yeah, now. Get up, You're You're getting getting get up, up Joe. <laughs> This is not good. I don't need this right you now. Met my my wife, right? Did, you, did you meet my Shut wife at one time, Joe? I don't think you so. Never no. met my wife, right? Mm -mm. Good. You can never see her coming then. Perfect. Oh, yeah, she's gonna punch you. Oh, no, I'm not gonna God. punch you. Yeah. She would though. She, she, she'll, she'll, yeah, she would, but nah. All right, I'm gonna get you back, Joe. Damn, Damn it! Shit. I don't. I don't need Jimmy Rivera. Like I don't need to be looking over both shoulders knowing Jimmy right. Rivera. No, I'm not gonna do yep. shit. I'm just gonna tell my wife. I have a ride or die wife. I'm just gonna tell my wife. Hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, do whatever you want to do. See, it's, it's free. Oh. He said it's a wife. <laughs> That's it. Oh, now oh, I don't even shit. want to pull up the scorecard right now. <laughs> we don't have to pull up the scorecard. We know it's pulled up. <laughs> Oh, oh God! See, I try to have fun. Oh, now I'm man. gonna get. I'm gonna get my ass whooped by Jimmy's. Yeah, wife. exactly. So yeah, I, can't even, I, can't even, I can't. even blame but Jimmy's wife. Like, like some of the shit that came up, I'm like, man, it sounds like she would be in a music video, or she, it sounds like whatever the first question was, but she was really into yoga. I don't really see Christine into yoga, to be honest with you. But fuck, that's awesome. Like, props to her. But like the fucking questions, you know, that's all right. I don't get mad when I get even. But you know no, what? No, listen, Jimmy. Even. You got to say something, Jimmy. Listen, 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 Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Stop there. Is there more questions? Yes, there more questions. There's more questions. There's more fucking questions. <laughs> There's round five and seven. How many rounds are there? How many rounds are there? Nine rounds. Nine <laughs> rounds. All right. If I don't get one right. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to get one right. <laughs> this is the one. I'm going to make sure you sign a word. 
I am texting you the answers right now. So <laughs> no, don't text me the answers. I'm not going to look it up. I'm going to stay like this. I'm not going to look it up. I'm not going to cheat. All right. I promise you, brother, I will not send you. All right, all right. I'm not cheating. We're this is pop culture questions. So anything related to combat sports and in, in or fights or war, or whatever, in, in pop culture. So movies, TV, video games, all that fun stuff. All right, here we go. Christine, in the box office hit True Lies, love this movie, Bill Paxton plays a sleazy car salesman. What does he do when he's scared? A, craps his pants. B, pees himself. C, runs away screaming. This one's easy. Actually, I feel like this one's easy. Are you guys there? Get it. What's happening? It, uh, <laughs> I, it like froze up. <laughs> All right, go for it. Are you guys there? Can you hear me? Yes, A. yes, yes. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I said it. A. A, A is wrong. He pees himself. <gasps> yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> it's all good. No clue. It's a good movie, though. <laughs> You'll like it. <laughs> it's one oh, of my faves. It. I'm fucking shaking really? right True now. Really? True lies? Yeah, your favorite movies? I love it. I'm, he, he said I'm shaking right now. <laughs> I'm fucking so scared to even pull the questions up now. It's like, fuck. Jimmy, you better get this right, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> For your own good. All Yo. right, Jimmy. In the hit TV series Entourage, which video game does Turtle play in a tournament? A, UFC Undisputed, B, Fight Night, or C, Street Fighter? C, Street Fighter. Probably got it wrong. C. Uh, Joe shaking his head. <laughs> it was Fight Night. Oh, that was Which Fight Night? Is that the boxing one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna kill you, Joe. Yeah, I'm gonna um, kill you. <laughs> You're so Fuck done, bro. <laughs> Damn it. The show is Dude, supposed I, to be I don't, fun. I don't I don't really you know what's funny though? I don't really remember what he played in Entourage. I don't really focus on that. Yeah, I, was, I didn't either. Yeah, I never really I was like, what the fuck? I because I, I feel like the UFC because they had a UFC part in the movie. Yes. But the movie didn't live up to the TV show, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little upset. Yeah. How no. about Johnny Drama and Chuck Liddell? That was shit was funny as hell. Yeah. Chuck Liddell's a funny guy. He's he a is. funny guy. He's a cool dude. Cool dude. I remember having Mexico City. I was in as a fighter guest, and Charles Oliveira came in overweight at 45, but suppose he was eating like McDonald's the week of. He was like 10 pounds over. And it was like, I'm, we we're at dinner, and it's like, I missed weight, but it wasn't me. I go, Chuck, you're yelling at me, but I didn't miss weight. It was the other guy. I'm here as a guest. Cool dude, though. Cool dude. He was like, I don't know. It just pisses me off that these guys, they don't take it seriously and blah, blah, blah. It was like talking to my father-in-law. That's how it felt. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Christine. In the movie Blade, how did Wesley Snipes become a vampire? A, he was bit while fighting. B, stabbed with an infected knife. Or C, his mother was bit while pregnant. Okay. I'm gonna go with A. It's C. Can I steal uh, some of these questions? Is it? <laughs> no, it's C. Yeah, it's C. <laughs> mother was bit when he was born, like right yeah, after. Yeah, I don't watch too much TV. <laughs> I, mean, I love, movie. I love movies. These are the classics, Christine. <laughs> This is before Wesley went to Remember, jail. Remember, like, he hit in the head, too. <laughs> yeah, not bad. This is true. This is true. I might have been in there while he was in. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. All right. I, the sweat is dripping now. <laughs> no, it's not, Joe. You're all the way in another state. You'll be fine. But I'm, this be fine. Trust me. I, the dark cloud follows me everywhere. All right, <laughs> All right, Jimmy, here we go. In the classic film, Raging Bull, who plays Jake LaMotta? A, Al Pacino, B, Joe Pesci, or C, Robert De Niro? C. That is correct! That's a good movie. 
That is a good movie. I did I meet Al Pacino <laughs> once. I did meet Al Pacino one time, and damn, I thought he was like bigger. I swear to God, movies and that stuff they make you bigger. He was uh, maybe the same same height as me. Coolest dude ever. We could sit down and talk about boxing all day. Such nice. a cool. Dude. All right. I, I met did. him right before the Al Almeida fight. He was so, he was cool. They actually were like, all right, you gotta go film. He was filming the Joe Paterno movie, Penn State. It was Joe Paterno. Oh wow, yeah, that was a sick movie too. He did a great job. Yeah, that was great. That's cool, dude. Oh, Garfis, come on. I love yeah. him. Say well, hello to my little yeah, friend. He's dope. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bad guy coming through. Point. All right, am I done? Yeah, one point. Yeah. Got one point. Yeah. Go, I got one point. Yeah. Joe, hey. you had to put it up there. Joe, you had to put it up there. You had to rub it in my face. You just got three more points than I do. <laughs> At least you got one. I was like, whoa. Are we going to have the hey, first Kat, episode? Listen, I, don't want any, I don't want any sympathy, Kat. All right? I don't want any sympathy. <laughs> Go, Joe. Keep going with the questions. Go. Oh, man. Actually, you know what? Keep going with the questions. Bro. I got to go <laughs> Keep going. Now I got to think about you for the whole hour ride home. <laughs> Damn it. I swear I'm gonna have a team of, of cops around me. That's it. <laughs> I'm hiring private security, bro. You can do oh, that. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting it. Anything. He paid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Guys got me scared over here. So tell Kat, tell them about your history. All right. So your history is gonna be questions that are your industry related, okay? So it's boxing, MMA, that realm. So these questions you guys should know for sure. You should they know this shit. Be all MMA. They okay. better be all MMA, Joe. I swear to God. I don't know what questions Joe has for you. So, <laughs> Hey, Catalina, don't rev him up anymore, right? That's what I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> Yo, Kat, that's some bullshit, too. You should have picked my questions for me. <laughs> all right, Over here, question. Wait, you can't steal the other question, right? Like, you can't get – like, the person gets it wrong. Like, Chris, if I get it wrong, Christine can steal mine, right? That should be, like – eligible to do that i like that idea though because then then i could too. steal the points and yeah, i could totally yeah. steal some of her fucking that's kind of dope that's kind of a know, good idea know, we we are we are actually via cat we're talking about for season two we're going to incorporate something where people could steal answers uh questions and stuff like that you could be so honest you're, joe you're i gave you the idea joe you could be honest <laughs> Or Kat had the idea. Kat had the idea. You just like, ah, I had the idea, all right? He's I have so not given you any credit now, Jimmy. That's it. I don't need credit. It's all good. <laughs> all right, here we go. Christine, which was the first state to legalize bare knuckle boxing? A, Las Vegas. B, Wisconsin. C, Connecticut. What'd you say? B. B. Woo! It's B. It's B. It's B. I know my Correct. shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. For the question, right. I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> this is like, here we go. Who did Brock Lesnar get his first UFC win against? A. Frank Mir, B. Heath Herring, or C. Randy Couture? Oh, I don't even know that. A. A. Um, it was actually you didn't give me time, bro. Hey, am I wrong? It was B. He he got his his first fight was against Frank Mir, who's, but his who's? Oh, yeah, I don't even beat Frank Mir. Wait, his first fight was against Frank Mir, and he lost. And oh, then he got he tapped fought. out. He beat him the second time. He who beat him the second him? time. Right. Who's that? Oh, that, that was who's the that? guy he whooped. He whooped his ass the first fight. No, oh, I never it's even heard of him. That's a I've nobody. never heard of them. Exactly. They gave him somebody. Yep. <laughs> never even heard of them. It was a can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think wow. he fought like okay, K1 and pride. Question. No what? offense. <laughs> that was tricky. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's all right. Keep it going, Joe. Yeah. Christine, how many fights did Floyd Mayweather lose during his professional career? A, two, B, zero, C, three. I know you'll know this one. Hmm. I wonder what that number is. That would be zero, B. <laughs> Correct, yes. <laughs> yeah. 
And she left us again. Oh, we lost her again. <laughs> <laughs> what keeps happening? Joe? Hey, there Joe? She is. Joe, 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 Joe. You kicking me out isn't going to save your ass, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to protect me when Jimmy and his wife come come after me? <laughs> or, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy's laughing while I'm getting my ass whooped by his wife. Nah, I'm not doing anything. I was watching my wife do it all. That's, That's what it. I'm saying. Jimmy would just be laughing at me. Joe, yeah. what? My wife, what? You know my... ask me a question. Ask me a question, Joe. Wait, ask me a motherfucking my... question. Did you, did, you, did you do one of my interviews? And uh, yeah, I thought you did my first interview I did with Bare Knuckle, Joe. You didn't do it? I, in person or on the podcast? On the po No, it was like an interview I did for Bare Knuckle. I thought it was you. You maybe mm -hmm. mixed it up. Anyway, long story short, my wife has been training since she was a kid. She started younger than me. She's a black belt, too. I met her through nice. Tiger Showman's. I've known her since I was 12. So, and not only that, she's badass, but she's a better shot than I am. She's really good. I have a that picture of like 12, 10 or 12 years old with a deer. His tongue's like, eh, yeah, hanging out in the back of a pickup truck. I was like, what'd you kill, Bambi at 10? She's like, no, I think it was 12. I'm like, nah, I'm going to tell people you're 10. 10. <laughs> and she's like, you can't tell people that. It's like, it's like rude. And like, I killed the animal and people are going to, I'm like, who cares what you th think about it? You killed Bambi at 10. It's fucked up. <laughs> I have the picture, but it's at home. If I was home right now in the man cave, I would show you a picture of her with uh, in the back of the truck. She's literally holding Bambi. The deer's like this, and the tongue's just hanging out. It's it's funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, I I have a girl crush on your wife now. Like she does all the things I like. <laughs> I like to go shooting. She too, does. So. I have a motorcycle, so just I got her one. Um, I bought her as a present a 1966 Chevy C10. She wanted an old school truck, and uh, she rides quads with me. We kind of do everything. Like we do a lot of stuff. Our first date was Italian food. Actually, where we got married, we got a, we got like a quick like wedding in a judge office in in Paramus. And our first date, we went shooting to the range, and then from there we went to an Italian spot um, and had dinner with uh, a friend of mine and his uh, girlfriend. I think it was at the time, and. Uh, from there and then that's where we end up getting married but our first date was literally the gun range and dinner that's awesome see that would be my so, time to date too <laughs> yeah badass like date. we went we, we went on costa rica for our honeymoon like three days three years later because i was busy was fighting and mm -hmm. she knows i can't sit still so there was always a break in the day and stuff like that but we went horseback riding quadding cliff jumping surfing we did something each day because i can't sit still like i gotta be active i gotta do stuff i'm like christine with her yoga she can't miss yoga <laughs> <laughs> i'll go crazy bro <laughs> I, hey, she, she, I got the crazy bug <laughs> yeah. i want to make a deal oh, jimmy can i make a deal with you no <laughs> can you at least hear me out right. officer <laughs> officer no my name I is will... jimmy you know, i don't want i'm not gonna have people calling me officer Rivera. it's just jimmy you know i don't want to humanize jimmy. myself i don't like the fact that you know it's just you pay my actually if you were in jersey you would pay my my bill my salary so uh, people in jersey just call me jimmy i'm here to serve you serve you well i'm gonna so. tell you what i'll i'll either a cook you and your wife a homemade italian dinner or i will take you and your wife out to dinner just please <laughs> I don't. We're I heard out. about guns and <laughs> black belt. We're going out, and we, we'll pick a spot. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do. We do uh, live to eat. All right. We don't eat to live. We definitely live to eat. We're very bougie on food. If we spend a lot of money, it's probably most of it's on food. Like we even have a spot where we used to live in Bergen County, where it was a speakeasy restaurant, not a drinking place. A speakeasy restaurant. You would go to one restaurant. They would give you a co code. You didn't even know it was here. It was like in an alleyway. You punch it in. You go in the door. Their menu was they could change week to week. It was such a good place. So good. That's cool. That's yeah, badass, I'm all about the good food. I'm all. I'm a foodie too. Like I love going out to eat. Yeah, sure. you got. I mean, you got it. I I, I do like I. Uh, when we're not doing a 90 day challenge right now, all this stuff, or if it's the winter time. You know, I'm like, sometimes I'm, you know, I'll, I'll eat, I'll work out so I can eat that burger or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make a recommendation for you, my friend. So, you know, the Bensonhurst area. Do you remember a place in Bay Ridge called Ario's restaurant? I no, I never worked in there. I could probably find okay. it, but I'm also coming from the country and that's a long ass ride. I'll only do it for my wife and I'll only do it because she wants French food. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I only go to I only go to Brooklyn right now to box, and it takes me two hours to get there, and it sucks. Oh well. Oh well. Then yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's a good place to go to box, though. <laughs> what? And that's a good place to go to box. <laughs> yeah, you get no, that they, work. Got some good pe- they got some good people there. I had some mm-hmm. I had some opportunities to box some other people. I got really good from this kid Kendall Holt. He was a three time world champ. He was really good, and uh, you know he's slowly just kind of retired, hung in the gloves. But I got to spar like when Glenn Tappy got back from his jaw being broken. I got to spar him around, like around. He went. He was way bigger than me, but he went light. We just worked. It was good work. It was fun. Um, I had some other opportunities to spar other people, but my box coach is like, "Nah, you're not gonna spar him." I'm like, why? Because he's like, they're just not the right time, or I wasn't experienced enough, or I was, but it's not the right look I'm looking for for a fight. It's all different. Yeah. All right, hey, stop postponing these questions, Joe. <laughs> Please get it right. <laughs> this is not right. mine. This is you. This Wait, is you. Miss Christine. Which... No, 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 we got Christine's her. Oh, then she she, she got went. logged out. She got the yeah, Mayweather. Got so Mayweather, which, yeah, yeah, which yeah. round did which round did Jorge Masvidal beat Nate Diaz to win the BMF championship? A first, B second, or C third round? You are on the clock. D third. Third round is correct. Yes. Woo! I was there. It was awesome. I'm not going to lie to you. The, the crowd was the loudest when The Rock came out. I was like, holy shit. I thought that it was going to, the roof was going to come off. People, I mean, I like him too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But people love him. Like he they is, d- d- like he is, he's a cool dude. But he's a lot of stuff you see, but it's just like you go there and people like, I, I, I think it was the loudest ever. Ever yeah. in the whole entire fight. Like when I fought Prudential Center, it was loud when I came out and during my fight, and it was loud when Rumble Johnson knocked out uh, Glover and he actually knocked out with an uppercut and his tooth came out too. Two loudest <laughs> moments. The whole night you had big names on that card. The loudest was when The Rock came out. He was fucking yeah. tore the roof up. Yeah, and of course, he came out to a song too. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. If you smell loud, <laughs> gotta get your shit in, you know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta watch the Young Rock. If you watch Young Rock, it's like yeah, a I lot about show. his life, and they might embellish a little bit of it. But a lot of stuff though was like you know, growing up as a kid and watching wrestle. A lot of it was yeah. true. A lot of it came from nothing, and you know, worked his ass off, almost didn't make it. A lot of shit, but you get more of his like family background too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a great show. I watch it. And, uh, I'm actually yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me too. So me too. I was upset. I, like they, I thought it was gonna be more. I like when they but, reminisce like, and and like have all like the guys that play Macho Man, and Andre the Giant. Like I love that shit. I love how they're just regular people. And as a kid, I always thought it was more. But they're just cool people. They're just it's all acting. As a kid, yeah. I was like, I knew the I knew it was wrestling. I knew the falls and stuff like that. I know that was stuff was real. But when they were hitting each other, I knew it wasn't like real. But I thought they didn't really like each other at diff- different things. Like, obviously, so some people are not, might not like each other. But I didn't realize they were, like, close and cool with each other, you know? Yeah. Most he didn't like I, – Shawn Michaels didn't like him, though, because I saw the show, the last episode. And he doesn't mention Shawn Michaels, but he pieces everything together. <laughs> and Shawn Michaels was talking shit about him. And Was it Shawn Michaels? I must have missed that. Good thing I'm not going to be a detective. But, damn. Yeah, I don't care, man. <laughs> You know, listen, if someone's doing good like that, you got to fucking not ride the coattail, but you got to see how you can make yourself good. Like, he came out first playing the villain. Well, second second time he came out was the villain. And then all of a sudden, people knew. And he, I mean, come on. The catchphrases, all of them, everybody oh, yeah. remembered each one. Like, that was all. And he knew how to work a crowd. Like, I, I haven't watched wrestling since. I can't. There's no one like The Rock and Stone Cold. All the guys that I grew up watching, they're not there anymore. <clears throat> the attitude ever was the shit. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Championship round, guys. Fifth round, fifth round. All right. So, Joe, are we gonna give them multiple choice for this one? So yeah, so basically with okay. this this championship round, a final boss is gonna come up on screen. He's gonna tell you the question. <laughs> There's no time limit, but you guys, whoever calls out the answer <clears throat> first gets it right. Yeah. So, and that's right. whenever he wants to come on. I don't know how long he's going to take, but hopefully soon. He's here. 
Uh-oh. He's fucking here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. What's going on, guys? This is AEW's Daddy Magic, and I just want to congratulate you on making it to the final round of Fight Game. What is Fedor Emilienko's? What's his nickname? Fedor's nickname. First one to answer it. B. B. Yes. Ding, ding, ding a ling. Good the job. Last Emperor. It's B. Wait, who got it? You did. Wait, I are don't... you sure? Oh, wait no, a you minute. You fucking with me. Whoa. I don't trust you. <laughs> we both said it at the same time, I think. Dude, I think did I you guys first? did. Did I say it first? I oh, think you no. said it first, but I, I was like, Jimmy it said it first. We got to play back right. the tape. Genie, I don't play back the tape. <laughs> We're going to do an instant replay. Right oh my gosh. I do instant replay, right? <laughs> Just give it to Christine. I don't care. I'm, I'm good about it. Christine, you want to kick my ass today, right? Sure. All right. Even though you had the easier questions, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, man. You know, Catalina's <laughs> making me look bad now. She's I giving know, all that. I, I got I to gotta really start. All right, I'll figure. I got to I gotta re- rethink You better watch your ass, Joe. <laughs> the, you watch you the, the problem is, Joe, he, he, he stereotyped me. Just because I'm an officer, he thought, like, oh, most officers are really good with history. Not this guy. <laughs> Not at all. If you would have did math, algebra, geometry, stuff like that, yeah, I would have had I been, I'm really good with numbers. Done. I like to make Me money. Either. But not really good with history, but Because oh, most man. people are... Yeah, so you, you stereotype me, Joe. That's messed up. Uh, you know, I, and I, I lived the life of a stereotype, too. You know, Italian, short, you know, everybody. Oh, you do. You do. You do. When you're trying it. to make a point, you get real Italian. You that Brooklyn accent comes out. And you want to go, I'm Italian. The accent comes. Out. I can't even do the do the fucking do do the do your accent. You know what I mean? Listen, Jimmy, I got I got a little something for you, my yeah, friend. Not, no, I got a recommendation. Out. There you go. I will out cook all any. The time. I will cook any dinner you want, please. I don't want to eat it. I'm scared. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. You said open that and wallet. Not, and not, I'm not saying that. It won't even be good. I'm just scared you might put something in it, like a laxative. Oh. Like no, I want you to be happy. I, the last thing I want to piss you off. <laughs> Yo, thank oh, you, guys. Shit. No, seriously, this was a lot of fun having you both yeah, on. Fun. This was a, Thank this you. This was a blast. No before problem. You, before you guys go, we do this thing called the call out. So we're going to. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate it. No You're problem. awesome. Oh, we lost Christine again. I feel bad for Christine. We lost Christine again. I'm like, Christine, you're killing me. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get a shout out from her. We'll try. We'll try. She'll come back on. All right. I'll see you guys. Have a good one. All right. Thank you Thanks, so much. Jimmy, you too, really my brother. Appreciate you. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, my. All right, A, we're going to get Christine back. I got a lot of editing to do on this one, Catalina. Yes. Lots yes, of did. editing. Lots of, all right. I know. We'll make it work. We'll make it. I'm going to This is. I'm gonna earn my paycheck for this one. You are. You are. Oh, man. I, know. I got Jimmy's wife kicking my ass now. I mean, this is. A fight game was supposed to be for fun, and now I'm in trouble. That's too funny, man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. For you. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I'm going to get my ass whooped. His wife sounds amazing. She does sound like an awesome chick. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, shooting guns, hunts, I know. fighting. Black belt. I mean, that's. She's, she's bougie with her food. She sounds like me, honestly, except more badass. <laughs> yeah, well, is that yo, uh, you too with the shooting of the guns and you yeah. love doing all that stuff? Love it. You, I'm you not shoot. A black belt, but you know, what I got kind two. Of, <laughs> what, what what's like the your favorite gun to shoot? Um, probably rifle. Yeah, more of a, a long range kind of gal. I like that. I'm not a pistol person. What about what about uh, snipers? You ever shoot those? I have. Yes, been lucky enough to get to do that. It's so much fun. Ah, uh, see, I want to shoot a sniper. I never shot a sniper rifle before. Yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. I've, I've been lucky to have some pretty badass coaches. So. So yeah. what's like the thing with like shooting a sniper rifle? I mean, is it always steady hands? Is it like you, you have to, 
the breathing, breathing is so important. That was like one of the first things I learned with shooting is your breathing. You know, if you're, you have to breathe correctly with the inhale and exhale, you know, pull the trigger. Like there's so many little things that you just like, ah, ah, and you just yank it normally. You know, you're like, ah! <laughs> I remember when I first shot a gun, it was, I was jumpy, you know, cause I, I didn't know how to, you know, handle that, the, the kickback, you know, exactly. But, after, you know, it's like, I guess anything else, you get used to it, but uh -huh. I never shot a, uh, uh, really, I've only shot handguns. I haven't shot anything uh -huh. more than a handgun because I figured, yeah. am I really going to shoot these big things? Like, you know, if I shoot a gun, it's, I'm going to be, you know, in bed, somebody breaks in, I'm going to, yeah. grab it, you know, pop, put two in them. I got a couple of things by my bed. I got a Strybog, which is like a, uh, it's a nine millimeter, um, but it's like a compact it's it's really awesome it's so much fun to shoot and it's just a little easier for me with my small hands i feel like it's harder to have accurate like shooting especially quickly with small guns for me so it's just a little easier with that but you know i shot a 50 cal a couple times mm. and laying down and prone and like literally it was like so much recoil <laughs> like you like it moves you you know wow. Yeah. What's awesome. like the most powerful gun that you shot? I would, I yeah. honestly, the 50 cal. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. It's, it's crazy. You ever, you ever shoot a, a rocket launcher? Uh, I did a grenade launcher. I did uh, that last year. That was so cool. That was so you sh were you like in a field somewhere or a desert yeah, yeah, somewhere? Yeah, I was in Utah in like okay. the mountains. And so you could just shoot straight into the mountains. It was awesome. Was, was that? So is that those coffee guys? Um, yes, that's right. Really? Yeah, it was Black Rifle. Yeah, yeah, they were there. Yeah, for that, it was. Um, that particular shot was for a uh, a charity. It's called like Warfighter Charity. Um, yeah. So they they had like all the different types of like machine guns and all different fun stuff. Oh man, that's got to be cool. See, I would try something like that for sure. Yeah, it's so much fun. I feel like that's like how you get into it, you know? Yeah, it's like it's like a drug, you know. It's like you, you do it once, and you're like, oh man. I don't know. Like when I jumped out of a plane, like that was like that adrenaline rush. Uh huh. It's hard to match that, you know. So it's like now it's like I like go. I love roller coasters, so I got to yeah. do this stuff where it's like I'm having fun, but if something goes wrong, I'm dead. I'm into it. <laughs> it's like it's kind of. Kind of exciting. Not gonna lie, it's kind I'm of it too. I'm this totally the same. I'm like, if it's not dangerous, I'm not really interested. You know? Yeah. What the hell? You know, I like I living on the edge a little bit. I do too. I did a uh, white water rafting in Utah, and that was a lot of fun. Was fun. And uh, yeah, it's like you you could tell, like you know, if you you know, depending on where you are, if you fall yeah. on the water, you get back on. There's some parts where there's a lot of drops and stuff. Yeah. Where you're like, yeah, if I fall, I could probably die. Hit my head oh, on yeah, a rock, totally. and I'm done. I know white white water rafting is is pretty dangerous. I did it in Alaska when I was like younger, and I thought it was so fun. But it's definitely one of those things where you're like, I might fall out and hit a rock. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And I suck. I can't swim or shit. I mean, sink like I sink. Fucking sink every time. <laughs> like I can't even float in a pool. I sink oh to God. the bottom every time. I'm so dense. It's like I'm yeah. so dense. <laughs> it's just like. Right to the bottom. She dominated. I mean, there it is, right there. I totally did give her easier answers. Your your questions were so hard. <laughs> I was like, what? I gotta tell you, you know, you why they were hard? Why? Because today, like, I had very little prep time for this show, and I was so busy today. I literally was on Google, and it was like the first thing I saw it was just like, all right, boom, boom, boom. Oh, boom. uh huh. I didn't like take the time to be like, all right, man, we get one that's a little yeah you know and he's threatening me the whole time and i'm just like oh god <laughs> just it get it very right entertaining, though. It, was <laughs> it, was very entertaining. it was hilarious the whole the whole episode i get threatened by him oh god <laughs> what an episode of fight game yes. episode seven i got threatened the entire time by jimmy i am I'm, I'm i'm heavily concerned now if i see his wife you should and he be. said i won't see her coming which is now I got to look over both shoulders when Jimmy and his wife are in town. I mean, she could take you down, you know, she could do that kind of shot or she could just be packing heat. I don't know, but either way, not looking good for you, Joe, because you did lose again. So story of my life. I keep losing in, in fight game. 
<laughs> you know what my trick is? I give easier questions. <laughs> then it equals W for me. I, I, I know. It's like I, I'm doing all the hard questions, but I'm curious. Like, you just never know. I don't know what people know what and you don't know. know. I don't know. You know, I just throw them out there, see what happens. But the funny part is, I think I would have did the same as Jimmy with these questions. Like, I don't think oh, I would have. Sure. Uh, I'm same, same. I didn't know. I was I was playing along too. I didn't know anything. I was like, like oh my God. Like, if I didn't know Christine, I would not know any of those things about her. And the, the, the war questions, I would have got them wrong. The get pop, the get pop I knew. So it was shit that I knew. Yeah. But the ones that you asked, I would have got both of them wrong. Because I, I saw True Lies when I was a kid. And same thing with Bleed. And I forgot everything. So uh -huh. that's that. And then these Your History questions. Yeah, those were good. They were tough. They were tough. I mean, I knew the Nate Diaz, the BMF fight. But I would have got tripped up on that Brock Lesnar question, too. A hundred percent. I would have said Frank Mir, too. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would have said Frank Mir as well. So. Which I'd like to have Frank Mir on. I feel like we could get him on. We should get Frank Mir on. Yeah. And Brock Lesnar. That'd be good. Oh, you gotta have high hopes, right? You gotta shoot for the stars. <laughs> shoot for the stars, land on a cloud. It's all there good. You go. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I'll be on a cloud in five minutes. When I get <laughs> five minutes. Here we go. Wrap Fusion up. CBD gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fusion CBD. Chat. Any closing words? Um. Well, um, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Okay. To quote the great. DJ Khaled? <laughs>